Here are four examples of bin labeling at Quest. Let's see how they work. These signs have clear icons, but with simplicity comes a lack of information. Paper towels are easily confused at waste stations, but can actually be composted. With these signs in use, the contamination of the landfill stream was 66%. Next, we tried to add more information by adding lists of acceptable and unacceptable items. These signs are clear, but too wordy. We don't have time to read every description, so the landfill stream contamination stays high, at 64%. How could we make this better? People like having some written information on signs, but most often we only have time to read the title and look at the colors before making a disposal choice. So our next signs use a combination of descriptive titles, short lists, and images to sort and dispose of waste. A major challenge and change was to remove the word garbage and replace it with soft plastics to describe acceptable items in the landfill stream. As you can see, these signs are pretty effective and the landfill stream contamination went down to 29%. For Quest University's current signs, we added icons provided by the regional district authorities to make the signs clearer. By combining text, icons, color, and images, users can clearly see where items go and form habits in response to the signs. With these signs, overall waste contamination went down to 24%. Our goal is to bring contamination in all waste streams below 20%, as required by municipal bylaws in British Columbia. If we can bring our contamination below 20%, not only do we protect resources and the environment, but we save money too. Many regions impose high fines for contamination. At Quest, if we sort all of our waste properly, we can reduce waste management costs by 88%. Signs are crucial to help people make correct disposals and reduce overall contamination. Putting up effective signs is one of the easiest and most cost-effective changes that can be made, while having one of the biggest impacts.